Hi, I'm Ram Gopal from PresentationProcess.com. In this video, I'll show you how to create on-off switch trigger animation in PowerPoint 2013. The beautiful on-off switch trigger animation you will learn to create today looks like this. Here you can see someone frowning and the switch says off. Now when I flick the switch to on position, you can see that the person smiles. Now I can keep clicking on and off like this, say off, on, off, on, frown, smile, frown, smile. So that is how this beautiful animation works. There are tremendous number of applications for a simple trigger animation like this. For example, you can show two different types of charts using this kind of a trigger animation. You can show different scenarios, the positive and the negative scenarios using this trigger animation. The kind of things you can do with this simple trigger animation is limited only by your imagination. So I'm going to show you how to create the simple on-off switch trigger animation now. All you require to create this kind of an effect is two different types of pictures. Here I have taken the picture of the same person smiling and frowning. And I have taken these two pictures from a public domain site. One is saying on and the other one says off. Now I'm going to rename each of these elements so it is easy for us to follow the animation. So let us first take this one, go to the home tab in PowerPoint ribbon, go to the select option here in the editing group and then click on selection pane and you will see that the various elements on the slide are all lined up here. So we are going to call this one as smile. So all I need to do is to just go here and click on that particular element and I can change the name to something more meaningful instead of picture one to say smile. Now I can say the same thing here. I can go here and change the name to say frown. This one I'm going to change as on and this one I'm going to call it as off. So now we have got all the elements named. I'm going to close this. Let us go to the animations tab in PowerPoint ribbon and open the animation pane so you can follow all my animations. First, I'm going to pick up the smile object and then I'm going to hold the shift button as I select the on switch. Then I'm going to apply a very simple appear animation. Then I'm going to select the same smile picture I'm going to hold the shift button down as I select the on uh, switch. Then I'm going to add animation and I'm going to say disappear under exit. So we have got two sets of animation on the same two pictures. Beautiful. Next, it is time to apply trigger animation. Now you can see that there are two appear events here in the animation pane. I'm going to select both of them together. I'm going to go to the small arrow right next to these animation events. I'm going to go to timing option here. Under triggers, I'm going to say both these appear animation happen start on click off, off. So I'm going to select off here. So they both will appear on the click off, off which is this, this particular picture. And I'm going to say, okay, beautiful. Now we have done the first trigger animation. Then I'm going to go to both these uh, disappear animations and I'm going to go to the same timing option here. And I'm going to go to so say triggers, go to start on click off, this time not on off, but on on. So these two disappearing ones are going to happen on the click off the on button here and I'm going to say OK. So that is it. We have two animations here, off and on. Now let us go to the slideshow mode and see how the animation plays. As you can see here, I have the off button and there is a person frowning. I'm going to click on the off button and immediately these two elements appear on the scene, a smile and the on switch. Now I'm going to click on the on switch immediately those two go away. I click on the off, they come in, click on the on, they go away. So this is the uh, work behind the scene. Now that you know the secret, I'm going to align these two together. The key here is to ensure that the smile picture and the on switch are on top. So I'm going to select this and bring to front the same way this also I'm going to bring to front. Now I'm going to select both of these, go to arrange, align, align middle, 
arrange align align center so they are both uh, align properly the same way we are going to have these two arranged together you can see that i have brought this front so that is going to be in the front so align center arrange align align middle now let us go to the slideshow mode and see how the whole thing works as soon as i went into the slideshow mode you can see that what i see here is the frown and the off i click on the off now i have smile and the on i click on on frown off on off so that is how this particular animation works <laughs> interesting isn't it hey did you like the video if yes please click on the red subscribe button that you see down below the video to the left here you see having good slides to present is like wearing a good suit in the boardroom you automatically feel more confident and sound more convincing you know what you don't need to be a powerpoint ninja to create great looking slides like this you just need to know a few simple techniques to significantly improve the look and feel of your business slides in ram gopal's powerpoint mastery program i teach you those surprisingly simple yet creative powerpoint techniques that took me years to discover through painful trial and error method once you know the techniques you will realize how easy it is to make great looking slides like this in the same time it takes to create mediocre looking slides like this so please click on the link in the description area below this video to see how ram gopal's powerpoint mastery program can change the way you create your business slides forever and to get a feel for how simple techniques can make a massive impact on your slides i invite you to join our free mini training the training is called 25 creative powerpoint ideas course it is an email training that gives you easy ideas you can implement in your next business presentation You can join the free mini training by clicking on the button here. So please click on the button here and I'll see you inside the course.